Hello, this is Pam, and today I'm going to make my daily video. But this day I'm not going to be talking much about weight loss, at least not on here. Um, maybe on my You Now channel I will address it, because there's a lot to say today. Um, but I'm going to talk on here about the gentleman who was on United Flight from Chicago to Louisville, and he was abused, beaten up, and made to leave the plane. He was an Asian man, uh, an older man, he was a doctor, and they wanted the, they wanted to bump him so the, a flight attendant could get a seat. Now, how do I feel about it? Totally wrong, totally wrong. First of all, I would always think a pain passenger would have the right to the seat he paid for. You know, I understand, you know, sometimes there are emergencies. I understand that. But I understand that once a person's in their seat, that's their seat. You know, it's just like going out to eat dinner in a restaurant and somebody else comes in and, you know, you have to get up so that person can sit out. Not hardly. You know, there are rules I know about, you know, flight. And I have flown quite a few times in my life. Yes, I have. And I know, like, if you're a person of size, you might have to have to get off the plane because if you encroach onto the other side of the person's seat, yeah, who wants that? What person wants to sit next to some fat ass who's taking their half their seat? Look, it's happened to me. I've done that. I was that fat ass, and I was sitting next to somebody, and and I couldn't put the uh, armrest down, and they were so nice. They didn't make a big deal about it. They could have. I wouldn't have blamed them if they did. I was humiliated. And I said I would never, ever, ever, ever fly again until I lost weight. Okay. Um, I know if you're, you know, drunk or you're really, you know, intoxicated and you're on, you're on a plane, you can be told to get off the plane. And, you know, I mean, I there used to be a program on TV called Airline. And it was with Southwest Airlines, and it happened more than that. You know, they make a person get off or deny them boarding. And, you know, I thought, well, sometimes it's a little crazy, but I guess I can understand. You don't want some problems, because you don't know how everybody acts when they're drunk. Not everybody acts the same as the next person. Um, so you have to be in your right mind to be on a plane. Because, I mean, yeah, they do sell alcohol on the plane and all that. But if you're falling down drunk or you're just beyond, you know, just having a few drinks. Yeah, I can understand them saying, no, you can't get on the plane. But once you're on the plane. And, like I said, unless you're encroaching on somebody's seat. You're drunk. You're loud, you're causing a, a ruckus. Um, maybe you're sick. Maybe some bad odor, body odor. You know, before the plane leaves, they could, you know, instruct you to go maybe wash up or something, you know, so you don't offend everybody that's around you. But to beat you up, to make you get up so a flight attendant can have a seat serious be real you know um I don't usually go on this side usually I'm on the side of you know big business but on this side no no I think you know this man whatever his issues are you know in life you know I heard he was a doctor and he has license taken away okay that's all well and good that's all well and good but he still is a human being he still paid the price for the ticket he was in his seat you know is done with you know he should be able to fly on that flight unless he does something crazy or he's like 
uh, some of the things that I listed. Um, what should happen to uh, the airline? Hmm, United. Hmm. Well, I think they should get sued. And the city of Chicago, I guess it was security that did that. And of course, you know, security uh, police are not the same as police. They think they are, but they're not. They don't have, they're run a cop. Okay. I'm sorry if you guys, anybody listening to this video thinks that, but I do think security police, they think they are so ever so powerful and have the same rights as a police officer. You don't. You, you do not put your life up there like that. You don't know the law. And seriously, anybody that would have done that, no, no. So, has it given United Airlines a bad name? Yes. For right now. Anyway, you know, something new will happen. And this is one, you know, this is in the forefront right now, but tomorrow something new will happen. And this will sink back into the, into the, you know, memory. But not for that, that person who had to leave and got his teeth knocked out and was beaten, you know, made to leave the plane and disoriented and, you know, just all beat up. No, he won't, he won't forget it much. Yeah, he should sell, uh, sell. He should sue and he should get some money, you know, a uh, million dollars. Why not? Um, if he would have done something. You know, if he would have done something that was so bad, they would have taken him off there, he would have been in jail. So I think, yeah, he should get some money. I think, you know, restitution. He, of course, his medical bill should be paid. Um, whoever got the idea to do this to that man, they should be fired. Um, maybe even put in jail uh, because it was an assault. So I, I think sometimes, you know, maybe it was a good intention. Maybe they just thought they were doing what they had to do. But ignorance is no excuse for the law, breaking the law. And um, it wasn't fair to him. It wasn't fair to the to the passengers in the plane that had to to watch this, and um, so yeah, I think I think he should be, you know, properly and adequately, you know, given something because he did suffer a lot, and um, you know, it teach them a lesson because companies that big can afford to lose some money they don't want to lose money but they can afford to lose some money so I think it's time now that the big business gets a lesson taught to them you know you don't treat people like that um, you know if it wasn't United that actually did it but it was a security then the security should be in trouble because it was really wrong and um, that's all I have to say I want I'd like to know what you think about this um, please you know like and subscribe and leave a comment you know I leave my uh, email address in my um, the message part so you know like and subscribe and you have a wonderful day and talk to you tomorrow. Bye.